Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Wherever you are watching from, may God bless you. And we are here to share again the word of the Lord. We thank God for another day. We thank God for a new year which he has given to us. We bless the name of the Lord. I remember we stopped our sharing. We had... Um, we stopped on uh, the fall of Lucifer and today we are again going to add on from where we stopped from. Yeah, we are adding on. We have to build the kingdom of the Lord God Almighty. Um, and today we have an important theme which is all about demonology. We are going to speak about demonology and at the end of this sharing you will know that you have power over all the forces of darkness. You have power over all demonic spirits. You have power over evil spirits. You have power over all fallen angels. And you'll be able to differentiate in the spirit between all. You will be able to know the difference between Lucifer and the fallen angels and the demonic spirits and the evil spirits. These are all different, but they are all counterparts. They all work together. To, to, to see that the work of God is crumbled. But we thank God because the Lord Jesus Christ came in the flesh and was crucified, died, was buried and resurrected and he obtained all the authority from the enemy. He has the power over death, over hell, over grave, over life. So he has given us power over every evil force, over all the powers of darkness, and nothing by any means shall hurt you, my brother and my sister, whoever has come to the point of acceptance of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We have that great privilege. It's all to all children of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can we pray? Heavenly Father, King of glory, we thank you for this glorious meeting which you have given and to us, Lord, to share and to know and to hear from you, blessed Holy Spirit. Now, Lord, speak to us. Open the doors of heaven and speak to us the word of life, the word of integrity, and equip us with the power to overcome all the devilish spirits that are come to attack the church in the name of Jesus Christ, that we may overcome all the forces of darkness which are sent out which are shot out into the un, into the world to destroy the souls of men in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray for the Holy Spirit to come upon our lives to speak to us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray believing in Jesus' name. Now, remember a scripture which the Lord Jesus Christ spoke to us in the book of Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. We can read together Luke chapter 10 verse 19. And when we begin from 18, the Bible says, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan falling as lightning, from uh, falling for as lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you power to tread on serpents and the scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you. The Lord saw Satan fall from heaven in the beginning. We saw the fall in the previous link, in the previous sharing. That was last year in December. Uh, uh, I believe it was around um, in the uh, in the tens of December in the previous sharing when you check the previous video we saw the fall of Lucifer how Lucifer fell from the presence of God and they began to corrupt the earth began to corrupt the angels began to corrupt everything that was upon the face of the earth and God judged him and they all that believed on his lie, God judged them and destroyed them. And now we are going to see uh, uh, in detail demonology. We are still in Genesis 
chapter 1 Genesis chapter 1 the genesis of all things the beginning of all things unveiling the origin of all things we saw it we saw Genesis chapter 1 the creation of all things now we saw the creation of the heavens the creation of the earth now we get we got to a revelation I mean to Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2 where we saw destruction the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 that the earth was void it was formless and darkness was upon the face of the deep so we saw that what brought about that darkness upon the face of the deep was God's anger when Lucifer fell from the presence of God God's wrath came upon the earth and the floods covered the whole earth that is before the Adamic reign before the times of Adam Satan resisted against God it was Lucifer who resisted against the will of God how he wanted to be exalted how he wanted to sit also like the Most High we saw it in the book of Isaiah in the book of Isaiah uh, chapter uh, in Isaiah chapter 14 we saw it how Lucifer wanted to exalt his throne also among the saints of God how he wanted also to rule amid the stars of God but God judged him in Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12 we saw how he fell from the presence of God so when he fell, God's judgment struck the earth and God destroyed the cities that were upon the face of the earth. Cities like the ancient cities which were built up by Lucifer. Cities like Babylon. Babylon has always been upon the face of the earth. It is an ancient city built by Lucifer in the days before Adam. And on earth we saw that there were demon spirits upon the face of the earth in the time of the reign of Lucifer upon the face of the earth. You remember uh, in the book of Matthew chapter 4 we see Lucifer contending with Jesus. Lucifer tempting Jesus and telling him that... Uh, Behold, uh, if you wash me, if you bow down to wash me, I will give you all the treasures of this world, all the, the wealth, all the glories of this earth, because they were given unto me. So the earth was handed over into the hands of the wicked in the times before Adam, when God created the earth and the heavens. He placed the angels in the second heaven and he placed Lucifer to be king upon the face of the earth, yet he had also different offices. He was an anointed cherub, uh, anointed cherub who was always at the altar of God. So he was a worshipping angel in the presence of God, yet also he had to come down to minister before they that dwelt upon the face of the earth in those days. And there were demon spirits in those days who were reigning upon the face of the earth. And that time they were not evil. Remember, whatever was created, it was created by God and for God. Whether they be dominion, whether they be principalities, whether they be powers, whether they be demon spirits, whether they be evil spirits, whether they be mountains, dragons, they were created by God and for God to worship him. And God gave all uh, the, the creatures the willpower to decide. Mostly he gave the intellect to mankind and to the intellect. Uh, he gave intellect to the kinds, to the creations that are above mankind. Intellect to understand, to choose what is wrong and what is right. They have the consciousness to choose. So demon spirits they were corrupted by Lucifer and they were judged together with him in the very beginning so I want you to know that even before we go into details of demonology I want you to know that we as children of God we've obtained power over all the forces of darkness over all the powers of darkness over all evil spirits 
And we should not be intimidated by witches, by sorcery, by witchcraft, by curses. We should not be intimidated by the work of the enemy, by the operations of the enemy. We have power over all evil forces in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says that the Lord Jesus saw the devil falling from heaven as lightning in the book of Luke chapter 10 and verse, uh, verse 18. Behold, I saw Luke Lucifer falling from heaven like a flash of lightning, but I have given you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions, and I've given you power over every powers of the enemy, over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you. So this protection only comes to the children of God. This protection comes only to them that are shadowed by the wing of the Lord Jesus Christ, that are shadowed under the arm of the Lord God Almighty. He that dwells in the shadow of the Almighty God, he that dwells under the presence, who is covered by the presence of God, is he that is secured and the powers of darkness have got no power over him and we have authority to cast out devils in Jesus his name. When we read through Mark chapter 16 and verse 15, the Bible says that, go here, preach the gospel into the four corners of the earth and whoever believes the gospel and is baptized, the same shall be saved and this sign shall follow they that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, says the Lord God Almighty. So we have obtained power over all demon spirits. So as we detail demon spirits, I want you to know that every rank, every demon spirit, we have power over them. We have power over Lucifer. We have power over demon spirits. We have power over fallen angels. We have power over Musamba, over ghosts, over wicked spirits, over evil forces. We have power over every witchcraft, every curse, every stronghold, every spell. We have obtained power over every force of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Genes cannot stand before you. Even diseases cannot stand before you. And at the end of the sharing, you will know that the cause and the source and the origin of all human suffering, the cause of all diseases, the cause of all germs, it is all from Satan. It's all from Satan. All diseases have got their source from Lucifer. All of suffering have got their source from demon spirits. So that is it. And when you understand that, you will be free, my brother and my sister. If you understand that the enemy is not the fever, the enemy is the spirit behind fever, then you'll cast out the spirit of fever and the high temperatures will cool down because they are caused by that evil spirit that brought that high temperatures in your body in the name of Jesus. The pressure... Um, the cancer, cancer is a spirit, is a demon spirit. So once it gets into you, it brings all those kinds of bruises within you. It brings all the growth within your womb, within your brain, within every part of the body that cancer has attacked. So when you cast out that spirit that causes cancer, then cancer will be normal because the cause is dealt with. So the moment as children of God we deal with the cause of the matter, we have wept the, the whole thing out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. So shout hallelujah. We have the power over all demonic spirits. We have power over all diseases. We have power over all evil forces. We have power over every bruising spirit, over magicians, over witchcraft. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So, uh, when you read through um, the book of, when we look into the, the details of the theme of demonology, the theme, it, you know, the, the word demonology comes from demon, demon, the study of demon spirits. So we are looking at the details of what demon spirits are. So many of us, we think 
demon spirits are same as evil spirits are same as Lucifer, same as devil and so forth. So just to clarify a little bit, Lucifer is the king of the bottomless pit. Lucifer is the chief of the rebellious fallen angels. Lucifer he is the father of all liars. He is the king of all devils. When we speak about devils, we have grouped all the workers of iniquity. All the devils, all the workers of iniquity are headed by the devil. So devil is Lucifer, he is Satan, he is the dragon, that is the king of the bottomless pit, the king of all deception, the father of all deception, the father of all rebellion, it is Lucifer. So in the beginning, Lucifer, when he rebelled, uh, again, it's the will of God upon the earth where demon spirits, there were demon spirits upon the face of the earth, and he came and deceived them. He deceived them in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. He deceived them and corrupted them. We saw it in the book of Ecclesia, uh, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 28 uh, we saw it in the previous sharing how lucifer trafficked the message of god and did not deliver it to the demon beings that were upon the face of the earth in that time so he trafficked it and they changed it and gave them another word so he exchanged the word of god so whoever maketh a lie is of the devil so the devil corrupted the message given it by the Lord and it did corrupt the demon spirits and the demon spirits hearkened to the voice of the devil and he deceived them. He deceived them and God's wrath came upon the inhabitants of the earth, upon Lucifer and all demon spirits and God judged them with a great deluge of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. The Bible says waters, floods covered the whole earth. All the cities were bound. They were broken to the foundations. All mountains fled. The, the, the earth caught ice. It was covered with water and the water became ice and it destroyed everything upon the face of the earth and the demon spirits were bound into the bottomless pit. So demon spirits were bound into the bottomless pit and Lucifer being their king into the bottomless pit. So they were bound into chains and today they are bound into chains of everlastingness in the darkness of the bottomless pit until the day of God's judgment, until the day of the consummation of sin upon the face of the earth, which the whole world is waiting after. We are waiting for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, and when he shall come, he shall take the righteous away from the face of the earth, and then we shall be in the Lambus Supper for a number of days, uh, held in the hands of God, and after the Lambus Supper, we shall come to reign upon the face of the earth with the Lord for a millennial reign, then after the millennial reign, then the judgment seat of God shall sit to judge the dead, to judge all sinners, to judge all the wicked together with the devil that shall be cast into the lake of fire with all devils, with all devils. The word devils, it is a term grouping all wicked spirits, all demons and so forth. So demons were on earth before fallen angels fell from the presence of God. So demons were created to worship God. They were pure. They were good in the beginning, in the day they were created. But because Lucifer, when he had fell from the presence, he came and first deceived them. So they were corrupted and God disembodied them. God judged them and they took away their flesh and they became spirits. They became demon spirits which God bound them into the bottomless pit for many, many generations. Until today, they are still bound into the bottomless pit. But the moment the man on earth sins, demon spirits are empowered to come out and do the works of Satan. So we have, demon, we have Lucifer as their chief, 
and we have the fallen angels. We are going to know in details who the fallen angels are and um, when they fell from the presence of God. And also under demonology we have demon spirits who have seen who they are and we have evil spirits. Who are the evil spirits? Evil spirits are different from the fallen angels and are different from uh, the demon spirits and we are going to see it from the word of God from the Bible in the name of Jesus Can we turn to our Bibles in the book of Genesis chapter 6? And uh, Yeah, we read through Genesis chapter 6 a few verses We shall just be PK. We shall just pick a few verses in Genesis chapter 6 then we shall run the Bible says, and it came to pass when men began to multiply upon the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for he that is also flesh, yet his name shall be unnumbered, and shall be an hundred and twenty years. Verse 4, there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, and the same became mighty men, which were of all men of renown. So who are the sons of God in Genesis chapter 6? The sons of God in Genesis chapter 6, they are not sons of Adam. There is a difference between the sons of Adam and the sons of God mentioned in Genesis chapter 1 and I mean in Genesis chapter 6. The sons of God in Genesis chapter 6 written of in the KJV version, these are angels. These are angels. Don't be misled. Don't mis uh, don't be mistaken my brother by misquoting or misrepresenting the scripture. These are angels in Genesis chapter 6. So the sons of God in Genesis chapter 6, they are the angels of God who fell away from the presence of God. All angels were created by God to worship him, to serve him in the truth and in the spirit. But behold, Lucifer used the corruption upon women, used the beauty, the beauty of women that were upon the face of the earth in that time, that was in the times of Enoch, the prophet. So in the times of Enoch, the prophet, Lucifer ascended into the present, into the second heaven and he deceived the angels. Remember we said there are three heavens, the first which is our expanse where we have the celestial bodies, the moon, the stars, the sun. That is the first heaven, what we see upon the, the, uh, in, the in the expanse. The, 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 the sky, the blue, the, the clouds, this is the heaven, the first heaven. And in the second heaven we say it is the rim of the angels, a place where angels used to dwell before Lucifer had corrupted the second heaven. And then the third heaven and the heavens above, that is the dwelling place of God and of the holy angels. Right now, in the second heaven, we have the reigning of the fallen angels in the second heaven. They reign there and they've stationed the dominions and the powers and the prosperities and all strongholds are set in the second heaven to resist the prayer of man from ascending unto the throne of God and to make war against the saints of God. So, um, we see that Lucifer fell in the days before Adam was created. Many years before Adam was created, Lucifer fell and was judged and he was judged with a demon spirit. So demon spirits were upon the face of the earth in those days and they were judged together with Lucifer and bound them. God bound them into the bottomless pit in that time. And the earth existed in judgment for many years, for many years in eternity, which years cannot be counted. We cannot count it. You'll find um, archaeologicians finding bones, jaws of dinosaurs, of, 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 of um, 
giants worth half life of uh, of thousands and millions of years those are years of eternity which we cannot calculate in humanity in a human understanding we cannot calculate because before god one day is a thousand years so we cannot calculate eternity it is held in the hands of god so what we can literally see by the science of nasa and the sciences of the archaeologists it's just a calculation through the set meter in the in the uh, in, in the machines that they do use in the uh, Sierra or in the cathode ray oscilloscopes and the the, the 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 machines that are used to determine the half life and so forth. So um, uh, those cannot determine eternity. Yeah. So the demon spirits were judged in those days very far from the time of uh, of Adam. Then after Adam, after Adam was created upon the face of the earth, there existed many years, and then Lucifer in the days of Noah of Enoch. The Bible says that Enoch was the seventh generational son of Adam. So in the days of the seventh generation son of Adam, who is Enoch, then uh, Lucifer attacked the earth and uh, attacked the second heaven and went and spoke to the angels of God in the second heaven. Went there, spoke to the angels of God and deceived them with the beauty of women. So Lucifer, what he first did was to corrupt in the same way he came and deceived the woman Eve. He came and deceived Eve with a fruit. He designed the fruit. He smeared it with glittering colors to be sweet, to look nice onto the eyes for testing. So he deceived her and she ate of it and she corrupted herself. And today we are still being tempted and corrupted because of the sin that went through Eve by the deception of of, of Lucifer. So in the same way, Lucifer, because of the beauty of women upon the face of the earth in those days of Enoch, Lucifer went into the second heaven and deceived the angels of God, spoke to them and told them, come ye, beget for yourselves wives upon the face of the earth. Get for yourselves wise, cohabit with them, and get children, and born just like the sons of Adam are doing, so that you may multiply and may have a prigony upon the face of the earth. And it was not in the will of God, and God was so moved to destroy the whole world because of the sin of the mingling between the angels of God and the men. So it was a terrible thing. It was a wicked and immoral thing that the angels did. And God judged them and God judged all the angels that took the initiative to come down and take for themselves wives because God had not designed the angels that they should take wives, but he had given them a life of um, a, a terrestrial, a, a, a life which is forever. He had given them incorruptible bodies, spiritual bodies which live forever. So they corrupted their bodies in a kind of flesh and they were judged and they were not forgiven. To this day they are reserved into chains of darkness until the day of consummation. So fallen angels fell in the times of, uh, of Enoch. We shall see it in the book of Enoch. We can just borrow uh, a smaller reference in the book of Enoch. I do believe many of you have not read through the book of Enoch, but it's not a bad book. It's a book, a good book for reference. It's a good book for reference for those that love to know the will of God. So if we can just read a few verses in the book of Enoch chapter 7, we shall see that um, the Bible says that See the whole story. The book of Enoch chapter 7 details the book of Genesis chapter 6. Let me read a few verses. Enoch chapter 7 verse 1. The Bible says, And it happened after the sons of men had multiplied in those days, the daughters were born to them elegant and beautiful. 
And when the angels, the sons of heaven, now you can get a full description of who the sons of God who are that are written of in KJV of, Reve of Genesis chapter 6. The sons of God. The Bible says here in the book of Enoch chapter 7 and verse 2 that and when the angels, the sons of heaven, beheld them, they became a nomad of them saying to each other, come, let us select for ourselves wise from the prigony of men and let us beget children. So you see how they did uh, an evil thing, they thought evil. And here in the verse 10, I just want to skip some verses. In verse 10, the Bible says, uh, the book of Enoch, it reads that then they took wives, each choosing for himself, whom they began to approach and with whom they cohabited, teaching them sorcery, incantation, and dividing of roots and trees. And the women conceiving brought forth giants, whose stature was each three hundred cubits. These divide all which the labor of men produced, until it became impossible to feed them. When they turned themselves against men in order to devour them, and began to injure birds and bees and reptiles and fishes, to eat their flesh one after another and to drink their blood, then the earth reproved the unrighteous. So, these are the works of the fallen angels. The fallen angels fell in the times of Enoch, so they saw the beauty of women upon the face of the earth, and they were a nomad. Uh, they lusted after them, and they came and took part in kind of flesh and gave birth to children which were giants in those days and these children were not normal children they were big they were strong so man could not produce food enough for them to eat so Adam and Eve, uh, I mean the sons of Adam, the, the, the people upon the face of the earth, they could not produce food for these giants. So what the giants did began to eat flesh. They began to eat blood. They began to eat birds. They began to eat animals. They began to eat humankind. So you see, this is the beginning of human suffering. This is the beginning of human suffering. All incantations, we've seen it in the book of Enoch. The Bible, the, the, the word of God has said, Then they took wives and each choosing for himself whom he wills, and they be, whom they began to approach, and with whom they cohabited, and they began to teach them sorcery, incantations, and dividing of roots and of trees. So sorcery is taught by the devil, by the fallen angels who are called misambwa, the misambwa, the pagan gods, the fallen angels began to teach men and the women sorcery, to make witches, to make sorcerers, enchanters, to make the astrologers, astrologers are those that read the stars and so forth. So they introduced evil knowledge upon the face of the earth. They revealed the secrets of heaven unto humanity and the man's heart was hardened. It became evil. It became corrupted. When you read through the book of Enoch, you will see they invented even the first painting, the painting of mankind, of women, more beautification of women, like all the cosmetics Logical things that are invented, they were invented in those days by these fallen angels to corrupt the image of God in man. So the image of God is this, that we, when we corrupt the temple of God, we've corrupted the image of God and the spirit of God departs from our lives. So when we put on anything that is corruptible, then the spirit of God cannot remain in our bodies. So they taught sorcery, they taught enchantment, they taught uh, uh, how to cast spells, they taught wickedness upon the face of the earth, and the earth became so evil and corrupted. They introduced the dyeing of the hair, they introduced many cosmetological things, eyebrows, practic eyebrows, the painting of the face, the braiding of the hair, all these were introduced by these wicked spirits. 
the dividing of roots and, and so forth, all those kinds of sorcery and witchcraft. It was introduced by this demon spirit. That's why today every sorcery uses these genes, uses these batches, uses these ghosts to do their enchantments, to do their wicked practices. So it, that is the beginning of human suffering. Human suffering began then. You hear of cannibalism, people eating people. They were giants that began because they were not fed enough by the food produced by mankind. So they turned to begin eating flesh. They began to eat mankind. So this is the spirit of cannibalism. So the spirit of cannibalism was invented also in that time. Those are the giants, the giants. And we shall see the judgment that came upon those giants in the few, in a few minutes from now. So we've seen the demon spirits who they were. They were in the times of Lucifer upon the face of the earth when Lucifer was king upon the face of the earth. They were judged and disembodied and bound into the bottomless pit. And then after the earth was created and Adam reigned upon the face of the earth, so in the seventh generation of the sons of Adam, and that generation was of Enoch, then Lucifer attacked the second heaven and deceived the angels, and a third of the angels fell from heaven. A third of the angels, when we read through the book of Revelations chapter 12, we shall see the deception of Lucifer unto the angels of God. Uh, Revelations chapter 12 and verse 4. The Bible says, and his tail. The Bible from verse 3, and there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, that is Lucifer, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. So this, the, the dragon deceived the third of the angels of God and cast them upon the face of the earth and brought them to do corruptible things and God's judgment fell upon these fallen angels and God judged them never to see his presence again and they were bound upon the face of the earth, they were bound onto chains onto chains of darkness and when you read through the book of Enoch you'll understand that they were completely bound and the God made the shield stones and they covered them in great pyramids in the stones that's why you see witches going into stony mountains witches sorcerers going to stony mountains into pyramids trying to seek power from these wicked spirits they are practicing magic to raise these fallen angels from those mountains from those stones that they may come and corrupt the face of the earth so uh, that is the judgment that befell them, my brother and my sister. They were judged. The fallen angels were judged and they reserved on two chains of darkness unto the day of the great consummation which shall come on the great day of the judgment of the great God. So those are the fallen angels. And then we have evil spirits. Evil spirits are those spirits that came out of the giants when God had judged them. And we shall see it in the book of Enoch. Just simply, when we go through the book of Enoch, chapter, um, uh, the book of Enoch, chapter 14. By the grace of God, permit me to read through the book of Enoch. Don't be offended because the book of Enoch is not one of the books listed in the scriptures. I proved it by the word of God and it's a true word of God. If it were not so, then Jesus would not have reference for it and the apostles would not have reference for it. But when you read through the book of Jude chapter 1 and verse 9, you will see that Jude had the reference for the book of jo of Enoch, where if we first read through the book of Jude, you'll see how he referred unto the writings of Enoch. That's why I also refer to the writing of Enoch to you by the grace of God. The Bible says 
when we read from the book of um oh jesus christ son of the living god jude chapter one and verse i'm looking for the scripture which says Mm, disputing with the mm. Okay, in the book of Jude chapter 1 and verse 14, the Bible says, And Enoch also, the seventh from Noah, I mean Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of this, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with the ten thousands of his saints. So here Jude is speaking from the book of Enoch. And we don't see it listed in the scriptures, but he has reference for it. He says, and Enoch also, the seventh son from Noah, prophesied these things. So where is the prophecy of Enoch? So by the spirit and by the wisdom of God, when you read this verse, then you know that the book of Enoch is authenticated by the spirit of God, vindicated by the spirit of God. And all the prophets did have reference in the book of Enoch because the book of Enoch was the first writing upon the face of the earth. It was the first writing. Before Moses came to write the book of Genesis and, uh, and the Pentateuch, it is first the book of Enoch that was first written long time ago by Enoch himself. Then after it... Uh, uh, then when they were arranging the books, then the book of Enoch was lost during the arrangement of the books in the Bible. It was not revealed. Then after a while, God uh, uh, enabled a man to pick it, to remember it, and to bring it forward. And when I read it through, it is not offending the church. It's not offending the word of God. It is word of God of truth. That's why I refer to it. So when we read through the book of Enoch, chapter 14, you will see from verse 5, speaking about the judgment that came upon the giants. The Bible says that, But before these things you shall behold the destruction of your beloved sons. Mm -hmm. Of your beloved sons. Okay, let's let's read the whole of Gen of Enoch chapter fourteen, so that we may know the judgment that came upon the fallen angels. This is the book of the words of righteousness and of the reproof of the watchers who belong to the world according to that which he who is holy and the great commanded in the vision. I perceived in my dream that I was now speaking with the tongue of flesh and with my breath, which the mighty one has put into the mouth of men that they may converse with it. And I and understand with the heart as he has created and given to man the power of comprehending the word of understanding. And he, and as uh, so, has he created and given to me the power of reproving the watchers. Watchers, those are the fallen angels. The offspring of heaven, I have written your petition. And in my vision, it has been shown me that what you requested will not be granted you as long as the world endures. Judgment has been passed upon you. Your request will not be granted. From this time forward, never shall you ascend into heaven. He said that on the earth he will bind you as long as the world endures. So fallen angels abound upon the face of the earth those are the genes that are populated in the world those are the ghosts that are populated in the world that claim to be worshipped those are the evil spirit those are the ghosts the so called pagan gods that appear the actually the uh, the the six thousand gods of the Hindus and so forth those are the 
fallen angels that came upon the face of the earth that fell in the days of Enoch. So they were bound upon the face of the earth. They each have different forms. When you look at the appearance of Krishna, Krishna has a different form. Vishnu has a different form. Zeus has a different form. And so forth. These are fallen angels. These are fallen angels which God has judged unto the day of destruction. They are bound upon the face of the earth and they cannot uh, uh, they cannot ascend into the heaven of heavens again. They were completely cut off from the presence of God. So they are on earth now carrying on the agenda of their master, Lucifer. So they were judged upon the face of the earth. And the Bible says they had given birth to giants. We've seen it. And the Bible says here, the word of God through Enoch, the prophet says, that, uh, but before these things, you shall behold the destruction of your beloved sons, the giants. You shall not possess them, but they shall fall before you by the sword. Neither shall you entreat for them, nor for yourselves. But you shall weep and supplicate in silence the words of the book which I write. And so forth. And a vision thus appeared to me. Behold, in a vision, clouds and mist invited me. I want to read a few verses. Mm. I want to read a few verses by the grace of God. Verse 7. I want to read only a few by the grace of God. So the Bible says, but you shall weep and supplicate them in silence, the words of, uh, in silence. So demons, uh, the, 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 the giants upon the face of the earth, they were judged and they were killed. God judged them and destroyed them and removed from the face of the earth. Here, when they were judged, the Bible says, the word of God says in a book of Enoch chapter 15 and verse 8, mm, uh, when we come to the, fall, to the judgment of the fallen angels, from verse 5, Enoch chapter 15, the, uh, the, yeah, the word of God says, Therefore have I given to them wives that they might cohabit with them, this, that sons might be born unto them and the days might be transacted upon the face of the earth. But you, the sons of God, the fallen angels, but you from the beginning were made spiritual, possessing a life which is eternal and not subject to death forever. Therefore I made known to wise for you, because being spiritual, your dwelling is in heaven. Now the giants who have been born of spirit and of flesh shall be called upon the earth evil spirits, and the whole earth shall be their habitation. Evil spirits shall proceed from their flesh because they were created from above. From the holy watchers was their beginning and the primary foundation. Evil spirits shall they be called the habitation of evil of the habitation of spirits of heaven shall be in heaven, but upon the earth shall be the habitation of celestial spirits who are born on earth. The spirits of the giants shall be like clouds which shall oppress, corrupt, fall, contend, bruise upon the earth. They shall cause lamentation, no food shall they eat, and they shall be thirsty, they shall be concealed, and they shall not rise up again against the sons of men and against women, for they came forth during the days of slaughter and destruction. See, this is the great judgment that God put upon the giants, the Nephilims, the Nephilims. So the giants, the sons of the watchers, the sons of the fallen angels, they were judged, they were disembodied in the days of Enoch, and they were cast to become evil spirits upon the face of the earth that it torment, that it bruises, that it bring diseases, that it bring suffering, that it torment people. So evil spirits, they are the 
bruising clouds. They are like clouds upon the face of the earth. They are like dark smoke upon the face of the earth. You remember what Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew? I believe in the book of Matthew, uh, I'm just forgetting the verse, that when an evil spirit is cast out of a man, it goes into the wilderness. So when an evil spirit, so evil spirits are upon the face of the earth, the legion, legion, the, the, one, uh, one day Jesus, when he was passing by, when he has passed through the, when he had crossed the river, in the land of the Gennesaren, then he there found two men who were possessed of devils. And when he had inquired of the name of the spirit that was in the man, the demon said, the spirit said that I am legion. So there inside the man were demon spirits and there were evil spirits. A legion of evil spirits. In one flesh there can be thousands of evil spirits in them because they were disembodied and so they are looking for bodies to habit. They can habit anything where there is life. They can habit gods. They can habit uh, 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 cows. They can habit animals of any kind. They can habit mankind. They can habit cats. They can habit puppies or dogs. And they mostly habit cats and dogs. Cats and dogs, they usually habit those two. They like them so much. So those are used as agents. They are swiftly moved by demon spirits. Dogs and the cats, they are mostly used by evil spirits to be habited. And them, and you will see, find that in every house of a witch of of, of, mag, of a magician, they have cats and they have dogs they are in because in these these are habitations they they act as temples of demon of these wicked spirits that bruise upon the face of the earth. So these demon spirits and the and the evil spirits they act as agents of Satan. So the hierarchy of the power of darkness is Lucifer, fallen angels, demon spirits, and the evil spirits. So evil spirits, they are everywhere all over the world corrupting mankind, destroying humanity, corrupting, bringing diseases, bringing suffering, bringing cancer, bringing the, 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 they bring all the evil behaviors. See, because they were in the flesh of man, they were flesh of man, so they are looking to get back into the flesh of mankind. And demon spirits, they only come in when evil spirits have made way for them. So this is the hierarchy of the working of devils upon the face of the earth. First, the evil spirits are empowered to attack. When they have empo been empowered, when they fail, demon spirits come to do the attack. When they fail, then fallen angels or ghosts and the jinns come in to attack. When they fail, then their master Lucifer come in to attack. But behold, remember... We have power over all the powers of darkness and nothing by any means shall hurt you in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. We overcame the devil by the power of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. We overcame Lucifer by the blood of the lamb and by the word of this word, the word of the testimony, the word of our faith, which is Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King of glory. Jesus was born and was crucified, died, buried, resurrected, ascended on high, seated at the right hand of the majesty of the high God. So this is our confession. This is our testimony. We have obtained authority over all the powers of darkness, whether they be principalities or powers or darkness or strongholds. Demon spirits come as a cloud and form strongholds to attack a man, to bruise a man, to bring habits upon the face of the earth. Every evil habit, killings, murders, uh, rage, anger, fornication, adultery, deception, false doctrines, immorality, nudity, pornography, lesbianism, adultery, um, every corruption, gay, la, uh, LGBT, homosexuals, all these are caused by these bruising spirits. 
They are looking for ways to enter into humanity. They are looking for portals into human flesh so that they may come in and they carry on their purposes. Without human flesh, they cannot carry on their purposes. So what they do, they keep on corrupting mankind in order to have a way for them to enter in, to operate in the flesh of man so that they may live upon the face of the earth. So every time mankind sins, Demon spirits are released from the prison, from the bottomless pit to come and to bruise together with the evil spirits upon the face of the earth. Then when we stand in the name of Jesus, we cast them, they go back into the bottomless pit. But a time cometh and now is when demon spirits will reign over the face of the earth because God has permitted them but yet they will not have power over the sons of God but they will bruise the children of perdition but we have power over all the pledges of the wrath of God the wrath of God is revealed upon they that hold truth in unrighteousness the wrath of God is laid upon they that have failed to believe on the son of God and it's my advice my brother my sister today if you want to be free from the oppression of demon spirits one man is suffering from cancer one man is suffering from HIV. Another person is suffering from alusas. That is a wicked spirit, my brother. Yes, you might be told by an, uh, a professional doctor that this is cancer and the diagnosis was done very well and this is the growth and this kind of, when you go through radiotherapy, when you go through this kind of chemotherapy, then the cancer will reduce and so forth. But after this grade 4 cancer, then you will die and so forth. My brother and my sister, that is an evil spirit that can be dealt with. And we children of God have obtained power over all the forces of darkness, over every wild of devils. Many a times when Jesus was healing the sick, there is where in the book, in the book of Matthew, uh, when he was healing, I believe in verse 11, when he was healing a dump, a blind and a mad person, the person was dumb, he was blind, he couldn't speak, he couldn't hear, he couldn't see, dump, blind and deaf. So when Jesus came to heal such a person, he cast out the spirit. He cast out the evil spirit that caused the man to be dumb, that caused the man to be blind, that caused the man to be deaf. And Jesus said, ye foul spirit, come out. You dumb and the deaf spirit, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. And the spirit of the devil came out from the man and instantly the man began seeing. The man began speaking and the man began hearing. What caused the blindness? Demon spirits brought a catalogs upon the eyes and the man's eyes were blood and the darkness came upon it. What brought the deafness? There were evil spirits that blocked the eardrums from receiving waves, sound waves from the atmosphere. What brought the dampness? Were demon spirits upon his tongue that they made the tongue heavy from, uh, from being lifted that the man couldn't talk. But the moment the evil spirit came out of the man, the man became no more no more as any other human being. They did not go for any surgery. They did not go for any kind of a, a therapy treatment. They did not go for any a psychiatrist. No, sir. But it was a rebuke of that evil spirit. And it went forth. And Jesus said, I've given you power over all the powers of darkness. And you shall rebuke, you shall rebuke evil spirit and they shall hear you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for some person who is suffering from a certain condition. It might be a fever, it might be headache, it might be a bruise, uh, it might be a, a wound, a tumor upon your womb. It might be anything that the devil has bound you with. It might be ulcers. I tell you, I had an ulcer. Before in 2009, I had an ulcer condition. But what I did, I did not take the medication. Yes, medication is very well, very good. But once the doctor told me that ulcer do not heal, I give you this medication, but your ulcer will not heal. It's just for 
You've got to be taking it, eating. I say I will not subject myself to gluttonous. After I have understood that Jesus is the answer and that with God all things are possible, I will cling to my Jesus for healing. I will cling to my Lord for healing. What I did, I went into fasting for three days. And after three days of fasting, a miracle had happened. Behold, I was made whole. And from 2009, until this day, I've not received any aristocratic sign, no symptom, no any condition, no any kind of feeling of psychic signs in my body. Behold, I was made whole by the Lord Jesus Christ, for the spirit of Alsa was dealt with in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it cancer, be it flu, be it corona, be it Ebola, be it corella, be it any kind of asthmatic condition, be it epilepsy beat any kind of uh, 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 chronic disease my brother and my sister don't attribute that chronic disease upon yourself don't say this is chronic unto me the asthmatic condition is chronic unto me the the sinuses they are mine every when it gets cold i have to have sinuses don't attribute it to yourself it is brought about by the spirit of the devil and now when you stand in the name of jesus and i command the situation what does the bible say that if you you have faith in God and doubt not in your heart and say to this mountain, go ye be ye moved, be ye lifted be cast into the lake and it shall hear you if you have faith doubtlessly. In the book of Mark chapter 11 and verse 23 the Bible says, have faith in God, have faith in God if you have faith in God and you don't doubt you shall say to this mountain be ye lifted and be cast into the lake it shall hear you because the Spirit of God is in that word of God to fulfill it. So stand in the righteousness of God. Stand in the favor of God. Stand in the word of God and command the demon spirits around you. Command the situation around you. What brings anger? What brings rage? What brings unforgiveness? What brings all kinds of traumas in our lives? They are demon spirits. Once we are able to be freed from demon spirits, no bruise, no condition, no situation will seem to be big before us. No mountain will seem before us. Nothing. We have got to deal with the roots and not with the thing. Deal with the root and not the thing, my brother and my sister. Deal with the root, the root of every suffering, the origin of every suffering, of every pain, of every disease upon the face of the earth, of every condition upon the face of the earth. It's from the wicked spirit. The problem is not the corruption in the government. What brings corruption? Satan is the corrupt one. We've got to deal with the issues of the heart first. We've got to deal with our own selves. Remove rage. Remove gluttonous. Gluttonous is a spirit. How can a man not be a corrupt yet is a glutton? Yet if you are selfish, Selfishness is a spirit. So you will remain corrupt in the government until the spirit of selfishness is cast out. You may want to help people, but before you cast out the spirit of selfishness, you cannot help them. It will mean a desire, but you will not help them because the spirit of the devil reigns in you. The spirit of anger reigns in you. The spirit of rage reigns in you. The spirit of bitterness reigns in you. The spirit of gluttonous reigns in you. If you still have such spirits, you cannot move on in life, my brother and my sister. Every habit, the spirit of masturbation, it is a spirit of the devil. You cannot pray and finish and get away from this spirit uh, and get away from the habit, yet you've not dealt with a spirit that causes that. That is a spiritual husband, a spiritual wife. Deal with a spiritual husband. Deal with a succubus and the incubus spirit. Then after you've dealt with it overcome it in the spirit then you will not again have that agitation to stimulate yourself and to to, 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 to do such wicked things of pornography and masturbation my brother and my sister let us deal with the demon spirits
We have obtained authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray right now that the glory of God comes upon you. The power of God comes upon you that you may stand. Get out of the cage in the name of Jesus Christ. That we may get out of the prisons of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the scripture be fulfilled upon our lives. That behold I've seen the devil falling from heaven like a flash of lightning. But the Lord Jesus has given us power over every devil spirit over all scorpions to bruise them to step upon them and nothing by any means shall hurt us in the name of Jesus Christ let the magicians practice their witches it shall have no power over our lives let the witches practice their sorcery it shall have no power over our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let those that cast spells cast us it shall have no power over our lives because of the word of God because Jesus Christ was crucified died and resurrected from the grave and he has given us a promise he has given us the holy spirit he has given us his own nature to satan he has given us salvation in the mighty name of Jesus, rejoice my brother, because you've overcome the forces of darkness. You've overcome cancer. Speak wherever you are. Speak to the condition. If you had a headache, just command the spirit behind the headache. Command the spirit. If you have flu, do not just say flu. Speak to the spirit, to the virus that causes that. It is the spirit of the devil. Speak, touch your nose and say, you spirit that brings flu that brings migraines that brings ulcer you spirit of the devil that brings the cough you spirit of the devil that brings the fever come out of my life come out of my body come out of my womb come out of my body it is shall go your spirit that brings hiv get out of my body your spirit of asthma get out of my body your spirit of epilepsy get out of my body your spirit of madness get out of my body you dump and the foul spirit get out of my body your spirit of blindness get out of my body your spirit of nudity my sister you will not stop dressing nakedly until when you cast out the spirit of nudity from your heart from your body cast out the spirit of nudity and the spirit of god will come upon you and you will see the shame upon you when you show forth your your naked body my my sister so when you cast out the spirit of nudity the wicked spirit of nudity then you'll be free and you'll begin to dress modestly my sister when you cast out the spirit of the devil for braiding that is the spirit of medusa when you cast out to medusa spirit you will stop braiding your head and you will have natural hair you will stand the way god designed you you will stop seducing men by dressing in an evil cord and by uh, dressing yourself at Jezebel when you cast out the spirit of Jezebel cast out the spirit of Jezebel and you'll be free cast out the spirit of religion and you'll exercise your spiritual authority in the Lord Jesus Christ cast out that spirit of bitterness and rage and anger then you'll not be inflicted again you'll not feel the pain when people speak against you when people are your enemies you will not again be troubled when people stand against you cast out rage, bitterness and anger when people stand against you will just laugh, you will love them you will just pray for them and that is the victory that we have that is the victory that we have when the seed of Satan is away from our bodies then the fruit of the spirit of God comes into our lives, that is our victory over all devils in the mighty name of Jesus we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you be equipped with the strength, with the power, with authority over all evil behaviors, over all the powers of darkness, and that you may deal, that every evil spirit that had come into your body may depart in the name of Jesus. I pray the spirit of anger, the spirit of bitterness, the spirit of rage, the spirit of corruption, the spirit of quarrelsomeness, the spirit of nudity, the spirit of braiding, the spirit of 
of sexual immorality, the spirit of pornography, the spirit of masturbation, the spirit of lesbianism, the spirit of homosexuality, the spirit of LGBT may come out of your body in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That it may leave you forever in Jesus' name. The spirit of poverty may go forever in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of backwardness, the spirit of failure may get away from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Prosper in all your ways. See the goodness of the Lord in your children. I cast out the spirit of death, the spirit of confusion, the spirit of madness, the spirit of crippleness, the spirit of epilepsy. I cast it out from your body, from your life, from your lineage, from your DNA. In the mighty name of Jesus, prosper. See the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I cast out the spirit of blindness. I cast out the spirit of accident, the spirit of safety, the spirit of robbery. I cast it out of your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the glory of God be revealed over your life. Here I stand in the office in authority to cast out the spirit of adultery, the spirit of sexual immorality, the spirit of lust, the spirit of immorality, the spirit of the devil that is sending out into the church of the living God, the spirit of religion, I cast it out from the church of God, the spirit of deception, the spirit of false doctrines, I cast it out in the name of Jesus, the spirit of paganism, the spirit of Babylon, the spirit of Jezebel, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Let the glory of God come upon our lives the spirit of God embed us that we may walk before the Lord in truth and the spirit. Father, take control, take charge of our lives, Lord. We glorify your name. We bless you. Take over Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. And we thank you because you've we, we have obtained authority over all the powers of darkness and nothing by any means shall hurt us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Shalom, shalom, brethren. So we meet again next Sunday, same time, 4 o'clock, Dubai time, and 3 o'clock, East African Standard Time, by the grace of God. God bless you and keep you sound in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Stay in the righteousness and in the holiness of God and pray for the whole church because we are under the attack of the enemy. Pray that we may all stand until the last day when we shall witness our Lord and see him and reign with him forever and evermore. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen.